Let's move on now to our next big story, the Fujifilm X-H2. Now, this is a camera that is the best of both worlds, photography and videography. Highest resolution seen on an APS-C sensor, multitude of color options, even though Fuji gets their color science absolutely right. Lots of interesting things that they've added, features that I've never normally seen on a standalone camera. Mostly you see these in a camera phone. Of course, this is expensive. By the time you put it all together, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. But I still think with the kind of results we got, this is absolutely worth it. Mm. Fujifilm has launched you yet another flagship camera, the X-H2, which is undoubtedly a remarkable product. But at a time where photography and videography have been boiled down to flipping your phone out and taking a pic or video, can this traditional camera stand a chance? Can it be relevant in this era of convenience? Let's find out. Exterior-wise, the camera is quite simple and elegant. It has a standard retro body with a much improved grip, especially for those of you who like holding the camera in your hand rather than having it swung around your neck. It has an LCD screen on the back that is extremely practical. You can open it, flip it or even tilt it to preview your image. It also has the phone-like attribute of swiping up and down when in portrait mode or left and right when in landscape mode to check the photos you've clicked. There's a mini display on the top of the camera that shows some basic but crucial information like the battery level or the available record time. What's amazing is that two pieces of information appear even when the camera is off. The X-H2's best external quality has to be its dial on the top. It may look ancient but it's a time-saving component. It has up to 8 color presets that you can easily switch to while on the go. We'll come back to color in a bit, but let's have a look at the main selling point of this camera. It's 40.2 megapixel sensor. This upgrade roughly translates to higher resolution images and videos. So all you shutterbugs out there, get ready for your pictures to look even better. There's in-body stabilization, a pixel shift multi-shot feature, the MF assist, all just the tip of the iceberg when talking about innovation in photography within this camera. Filmmakers and YouTubers, Fujifilm has not forgotten about you. With the 40.2 megapixel sensor, you can now shoot footage in up to 8K resolution, provided it's at 30p. Still impressive. It's the highest resolution seen on any standard APS-C sensor. It also has new motion detectors and subject focus capabilities. These additions would be really handy for solo vloggers who find it hard to adjust focus while shooting themselves. Getting back to colors, it's not news that Fujifilm is the best in the industry when it comes to color science. The dynamics and the depth are truly unmatched. The raw footage is so close to the final look that it saves time in the edit room. Another labor-saving feature is the plethora of filters offered on the video mode. If your preference is to shoot in black and white or vintage style or with real-time colors or maybe something completely different, you can pretty much do it all. And just when you think that nothing can top all this, the X-H2 can also record footage that supports Apple Pro Res and Blackmagic RAW the unparalleled codex. So whether you're a photographer or a videographer, this camera has the capacity to make you unstoppable. Its waterproof aspect enables you to go all out in your creative exploration to capture beauty with no fear. For our professionals who struggle with the camera dying because of extreme heat, know that the X-H2 has a very cool surprise inside a cooling fan. Is this camera perfect? Of course not. There are things that can be improved on like speed or battery life, but it's not a stretch to say that the X-H2 is quite unrivaled in terms of its quality for both stills and videos. And it's a breath of fresh air to see a camera for once add components of a phone, like the swiping and filter options we mentioned before. And revisiting the question we asked in the beginning, 
Fujifilm X-H2 is most certainly upholding and creating trends, as the player still active in the game. In fact, based on the design and capabilities we just reviewed, it may gain more customers by pleasing both traditionalists and Gen Zs. All this at 1,99,999 rupees for the body and at 2,44,999 rupees with an added 16 to 80 mm zoom lens. Our team has already gone wild exploring the many features. What are you waiting for?